But today, I like to present the uh, concrete uh, youth policy. The youth policy is uh, formulated by the youth representatives who were selected by the regions and states of our country. It was appealed at the cabinet meeting of the union government on 11 November 1970. In, in our uh, youth policy outline, I would like to share the uh, outline that the integration policy formulation process, vision, general objectives, and specific objectives, the definition, the basic information for youth policy formulation, and basic principle of youth policy, main areas of youth policy and national youth policy strategy plan. Uh, Myanmar is a country where there are many ethnic groups and diverse traditions, cultures, customs, and histories. As young people for many good potential academic features that depend on the development capacity. Capacity of the young people. Since young people are available except for the country, it is a fundamental important to invest at present time in the development of young people. A national youth policy is a policy that creates a framework for particular country to provide resource support and service that will allow young people to fulfill their potential and contribute to social, cultural, and economic growth. Therefore, it is essential to develop youth policy as an efficient general objectives and specific objectives to create opportunity for young people to become skilled, healthy, and productive members of our society. And set specific uh, strategy to translate the policy into, uh, into action. As youth policy can demonstrate a clear and broad framework to promote capacity and participation of young people, and the problems mentioned above will uh, diminish, uh, diminish and eliminate that. Uh, policy formulation process as a government of the uh, Republic of the Union of Myanmar uh, believe the ability, morality, capacity, and prospect of young people recognize them as the fundamental and valuable resources of nation government. Therefore, the development process of youth policy was started by the Forming Policy Formulation Committee, led by the Ministry of Social Welfare, Relief and Resettlement, Ministry of Health and Support, and Ministry of Education in that time. And now, uh, Ministry of Health and Sport is changed to the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs. In addition, youth representatives were members of the policy a formulation committee to obtain views, wise and input from the young people fell at the ground level. In policy formulation process, point were considered based on the uh, based on the human rights standards, diversity as far as the context requirements on the ground and to be to in line with the existing policy and national strategies. In addition to the state and regional level youth forums and coordination meeting, uh, newspaper announcement, TV and radio programs were arranged to promote awareness as well as to obtain views and input from young people across the country. Those processes are started from the around 2012 to 2017. In the policy review policy of policy have a vision that uh, young people to play by the leading role in building the democratic federal union in unifying and coordinated platform. They have a general objective to nurture young my young people as developed youth in all aspects of health, strength, education, social, ethnics, values. Ethics, values, uh, leadership, capacities, and cooperation in order to be 
again for this reason. They have uh, specific objectives. There are 15 specific objectives of uh, youth policy and including related with the education sector. Here, number one is uh, provide opportunity for more equitable access to quality education that ensure leadership capacity in all sectors of the country in the future. And number two is provide opportunity for youth and contribute to the economic development nationwide of the nation by improving access of decent jobs and employment as related to their capability and skill and entrepreneurship abilities. And number three, uh, develop a sense of the responsibility and accountability of the young people through capacity development in the area of good government, leadership capacity, and good citizens. And number four, promote knowledge and opportunity to build competency in science, information communication technology, ethnic, ethnic literacy and languages, foreign languages, sign languages, and arrange cross-cultural programs. And number five, ensure our equitable access to basic knowledge on health related to reproductive and sexual health information facilities and services, including access to the mental health status. Uh, number six, protect the young people from engaging in harmful practices, including drugs and addictive substance. And number seven, provide space for young people to begin a better partner in promoting sustainable development. And number eight, uh, provide opportunity to young people to contribute to national and local initiatives in maintaining harmony experience between ecological and environmental consideration. On the other hand, the government needs for that. And number nine, mainstream the concepts of youth development into various national poli policy national strategic plans and targeted programs. And number 10, establish clear mandate for youth leadership in national reconciliation and nation building through promoting human spirit. And number 11, protect vulnerable youth from discrimination and provide opportunity for them to be part of the national program. And number 12, Develop capable young people up to the international level. And number 13, establish a national mechanism and infrastructure for youth development that has full responsible you know, for implementation of youth policy and provide a framework that clearly identifies the role and importance of many ministry including budgets. And number 14, uh, establish state, state and regional level youth policy in effective and meaningful implementation of youth development programs. Uh, number 15, promote growth of young people in peace process by creating community without peace. So, in our policy, youth policy, there are further uh, many definitions, uh, I just only point out the two definitions that uh, young people, you mean that all Myanmar citizens aged between 15 to 13, and also uh, lead ministries that are uh, implementing the youth policy, the leading ministry are Ministry of Social Welfare, Relief and Settlement, and Ministry of Health and Sport, now Ministry of Sport and Youth Affairs, Ministry of Education. So basic information for Youth Policy Foundation with the reference Nyuma, 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 Nyuma being a member of the United Nations and International Community has already signed an International Convention on the Right of the Child, CRC, 
conventional discrimination of all forms of discrimination against women, CR and, and CRP, and convention on the right of the person with the disability, CRP. In addition, Myanmar is a country proclaimed to respect human rights in accordance with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. With the reference of the uh, to 2014 Myanmar population housing census, Myanmar total population is 51.4 million, with the sub ratio of male to female is 90 to 100. So, as far as the definition of the youth in this policy, the population of the youth can be divided into following age group between to 19 years, 39.2 percent, and 22 to 34 years, 8.61 percent, and 45 to 29 years, 8.25 percent, 32 to 34 years, 7.75 percent, or together from about nearly 34 percent in Myanmar. Uh, in the youth policy, there are, there are the uh, main areas of youth policy. Youth policy covers the following focus area. They are education, health, risks from drugs and other substances, sports and recreation, job opportunity, economy, politics, literature, art and culture, research, science and technology, civil education and citizenship, resource civilization and complementary preservation, peace and security, gender equality, human rights and international relations. So in there, we have uh, uh, those focus area I just only uh, mentioned about the uh, area of education. Uh, that is a make number one is a major primary education free and accessible for all young people. For the time being, the, the uh, current government are trying to uh, promote the free education to teach plus nine. Formerly we are make a teach plus five, now we are starting to teach plus nine because uh, after the teach plus nine we are. We would like to continue the uh, young people to the further study or to join the uh, GPEG, like the uh, technology and professional training. So, uh, and number two, make higher education and professional training which are compatible with the workplace equally accessible. And number three, include lessons promoting. Respect for culture, customs, history, national identities, and heritage of ethnic groups, and promoting ethic and values in school curriculum. Um, number four, create a stress free, non discriminatory, and secure learning environment in the school and university. Number five, increase quantity and quality of the technological school integrate with the vocational lessons. And number six, maintain with the practical working environment in education system. And number seven, teach effectively life skill and civil education basic education system, covering physical, sexual and reproductive health, gender, sexuality, disability, etc. And number eight, implement means to reduce school dropout rates at all levels of education and promote accessible, uh, access for young people with special needs to vocational training schools. And number 10, uh, implement out of school and part-time learning programs, online education, evening class, out of office hours of the program, scholar and loan scheme for those who have difficulties in learning. Um, number 11, allow to uh, free open school for national race, locality, 
channel number 12, encourage cooperation among parents, teachers, students, and community. And number 13, allow to form students and teachers union without restriction. And number 14, build or renovate a playground and children's center in schools and train accordingly. And number 15, include lectures or subjects on politics, peace, public administration, and management in higher education. And also, I'd like to share that in the area of the research, that the number one is uh, research participation of young people to <coughs> conduct in research activities related to the primary business of agriculture, livestock, and other sectors in respective locations and environment. And number two, create opportunity for young researchers from different sectors, support necessary technical assistance and promote access to information and resources. And number three, encourage uh, participation of young people in activities of applying research planning. And number 14, that's uh, sorry, number four, uh, promote utilization of research planning on youth affairs. And five, make arrangement for networking, appreciation, uh, application of research finding in all sectors and school programs, familiarizing and research principles and procedures. And six, promote res uh, research activities and exchange program. Promote uh, research at the peace and exchange program inviting our national and international researchers by the respective ministry and government. And number seven, allocate a sufficient and effective budget support technical assistance for research at the peace in ministries and all sectors, and set up information centers promoting access and utilization of funding. And seven, establish policy and law for compliance of researchers and for protection of research in all sectors. And also the area of science and technology. They establish the mechanism to train and nurture talented young people in research, science and information technology. And to promote effective learning and correct utilization of modern science and technology, including media on young people. And three, promote participation of young people in organization and activities related to information technology. And four, appreciate creativity of young people and make arrangement to get the support in doing research activities on information technology. And five, create a portal for effective utilization of young people who are expert in technology in developed programs of country. And six, update curriculum on science and information technology of school and university. So, based on those area, uh, they have a national to implement that policy, we have a national youth policy strategic plan 2020 and 2024 was launched. It is a WFW policy. It's a program launched on 6 January 2021 for new government change. Um, we speak with, in that time, we speak with the uh, Myanmar Sustainable Development Plan 2018 and 2030 and National Education Strategic Plan 2021-2030 because of we are convening the National Education Strategy Plan in that time, uh, participation of the young people from the uh, uh, region and state, uh, rep representative uh, input their, their idea to the uh, education strategy plan. The, the information from the uh, state and region and government will be uh, put in collected to the development National Strategy Plan. 
we land have a stake and we didn't have a legal platform which was formed with the participation of the ministry organization and youth representative in implemented national strategic plan. So the transparency, coordination, responsibility, and accountability are very of the county in implementing the activities. In addition, timely implementation is emphasized in reaching personal level if it is in line with the existing law and national strategic plan <laughs> and action plans. This we will need to revise and amend our existing programs and project as and when required. So the strategic plan was launched 6 January 2021 and youth affair policy is uh, now youth uh, and over to the uh, Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs, formerly uh, the Ministry of, Ministry of Social Welfare and Mr. Dunham will uh, clarify the role of youth affair policy and youth affair policy related national level strategy plan and participation in youth related programs, meetings and seminars by collaborating with the international community, including ASEAN and Ministry of the social protection support, etc. So now the youth policy and uh, national strategy plan is uh, leaded by Ministry of uh, Sports and Youth Affairs. They are also realized that youth they are facing the challenges such as technologies, economy, job opportunities, and drug problems, and the emergence of the spirit and discipline and qualified future leader and youth development such as cross-cutting issue. The cooperation with the related ministry and organization will be enhanced, etc. So now we are three leading ministries are uh, implementing the uh, strategic plan with the related uh, ministry. For for the time you know, uh, after the launching the launching the that strategic plan, we faced like a uh, COVID pandemic and also political obstacle. So that's why we are delaying the, the <coughs> strategic policy. But from this year, we are restarting the uh, those uh, strategic plan, uh, implementing the first plan with the uh, ministries. That's why, like uh, I was uh, in formally, I showed that. Uh, because that I showed that uh, around 33 percent of the, our young people is uh, uh, looking like a uh, uh, population uh, bonus, like in our country. Because uh, a lot of uh, young people are in the country, so that's what we contribute to the you know, But the 2014 census, we studied that. Uh, uh, Age of the 50 and above people, nearly 3.5 million people are, uh, need to be able uh, 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 a local literacy. Because, and then in 2019, uh, in census, in, in that time also, we showed that about the 15, age 15 are going up around about 4.1 million have to be uh, able to trace it. So that's why all our ministry are trying to solve the problem in the coming, coming months. We are uh, now discussing for how to uh, make a better those uh, problem. So in other ways, we are also giving them some awareness to the all country with the related ministry in Myanmar. So that's uh, our youth policy and uh, how do youth policy implement the strategic plan. That's all. Thank you very much.